Concerned to me of viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villero. We've got some very interesting science news here, and that is that NASA, via the Cassini spacecraft, has apparently observed some oxygen around one of Saturn's moons, the moon Dion. Now, this is very interesting, okay? What do you think this means? What else can we not know about this situation here? And does this mean that perhaps there could be life out there even in our solar system that we don't know about? Now, at the same time, the oxygen present here is very, very minuscule. And it appears that it could have happened by events that have nothing to do with the presence of life there. So we have to caution all of that. So take that all into consideration. In addition, I have to say this is all my personal opinion only. I'm not alleging facts. I'm not casting spurs. This is all for entertainment purpose only. Please check the disclaimers. But from a scientific standpoint, this is extremely interesting to me, okay? Now, this is a very, very small amount of oxygen like we talked about, all right? So it has no comparison to the amount of oxygen present on Earth. At the same time, being able to observe this, this just shows you, in my personal opinion, how much we do not know about our own solar system. I think we need a closer examination of our solar system, and in particular, I'm very interested in seeing what's going on with Mars. I'm interested in seeing what's going on with some of Saturn's other moons, like let's say Titan, for instance, and I think we need to you know, examine all this stuff. By exploring space and utilizing good science, in my personal opinion, we can learn so much more, not only about what's out there in space, but hopefully about our own world as well. And it's just great to learn all this stuff, in my personal opinion. What do you think about this? You tell me what's going on. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal. Let me know if you like or dislike this video. You're watching Conservative Media. We will see you next time.